So guys, we've made it up to Hardwick Hall, as you can see in the background. So this place was actually built in 1597. It was designed by Robert Smithson for uh, Bess of Hardwick. Yeah, checked up, I've done my research. Uh, the house was actually used in one of the Harry Potter films as well, The Deathly Hallows. Didn't know that. Yeah, it was uh, Malfoy Manor. There you go. There you go. Harry Potter fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's an Elizabethan house and it houses the Gideon Tapestries, which are the finest collection of tapestries in the UK. So yeah, come along and enjoy the, the adventure. Well, this place is pretty spectacular. So obviously it was built in the 1500s by Bess of Hardwick. And in those days, to have glass was a very precious thing. It was so expensive. So when she built this house, she made sure that she showed her wealth off by using as much glass as she possibly could. Hence the house got the title Hardwick Hall, more glass than wall. So guys, we're just entering Hardwick Hall and as with a lot of these other stately homes, we won't talk too much, we'll let it speak for itself. <laughs> So this staircase is obviously stone and it's absolutely incredible. I'm not sure you'll get a sense of it quite so much on the video, but in, in life, actually standing here, it's just an amazing the way it weaves its way through the house. And obviously all these tapestries on the staircase. It's actually quite steep. So I'm guessing this would have kept best very, very fit. Walking up and down here. Look at the height of the windows. There are tapestries everywhere.
So I'm guessing this room they would have used to take exercise. Obviously the ladies could have walked backwards and forwards in the clothes that they would have worn then if it was wet outside without uh, getting too dishevelled. So it's a really long high room, magnificent fireplaces. So this piece of tapestry was actually woven by Mary Queen of Scots. Um, obviously she died before this house was built, but uh, obviously made its way here. Yeah, this is where. So these are the rooms that were actually used uh, when the house was last lived in in the 50s and before it was handed over to the National Trust. Um, the National Trust guy in the room was just saying that um, these were the rooms they spent most of the time in. 
So I think we're now down in the servants' quarters, just entering the kitchens with the kitchen that way. <laughs> Lots of copper down here by the look of it. Yeah, so we're certainly below stairs now. It is like down to now, babe. So we've just finished our walk around Hardwick Hall. Yeah, very impressive. Very impressive, yeah. Bess has certainly got plenty of uh, money to build that place. Quite interested in the last few rooms to see where the last uh, Duchess of Devonshire that lived here in the 50s actually spent her time. We saw her sitting room and a bedroom. So yeah, she lived there right up until the house went to the National Trust. So now we are just going to spend some time going around these magnificent gardens. So yeah, we'll take some pictures and we hope you like those too. So Hardwick's actually renowned for the herbaceous borders that are in front of the house here. I think they're some of the longest ones you'll find anywhere. And boy, the smell from these flowers is absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're just, uh, I think it's probably just coming up to lunchtime here and the sun's just starting to come out. And as the sun comes out, the fragrance is getting even stronger. So yeah, credit to the National Trust, the gardens here are absolutely magnificent. So, Ant was just pointing out to me that uh, when Bess married the Earl of Shrewsbury, uh, she's actually got her initials on the top of the house here at Hardwick, ES, uh, for when she was the Countess of Shrewsbury. So nothing like blowing your own trumpet. <laughs> I do believe there's a connection with Alton Towers, isn't there? Yeah, I think there must be because the Earl of yes, that, uh, that's right. Lived in Alton Towers. So we'll have to look into that. And uh, yeah, if anybody does know about that, please comment down below. So that was our tour of Hardwick Hall, the home of Bess of Hardwick, Elizabeth Shrewsbury. Um, hope you enjoyed going round with us. We enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's a magnificent place, absolutely enormous inside. Uh, as ever, the National Trust staff are very helpful and very informative. Uh, we did have a little wander around Hardwick Old Hall as well, so there'll be a little bonus vlog of a couple of minutes about that, which you might like to watch. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you like the content, please subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.